The velvet curtains billowed like a lover's sigh as Samantha Ray stepped onto the hallowed stage of the Royal Opera House. Anticipation prickled along her skin, the hush of an empty auditorium holding its breath. This was her moment. The role of a lifetime. Odette, the tragic heroine of Shadow of the Moon, an opera whispered to carry a deadly curse. Accidents. Madness. Misfortune dogging every past production. But Samantha refused to succumb to superstitious murmurs. Her voice, her talent, would rise above any threat, real or imagined. Places, everyone! The director's command shattered her reverie. Marcus Delacroix, an enigmatic visionary with piercing gray eyes that seemed to strip her bare. Samantha shivered under his assessing gaze as she took her mark. The piano began, melancholy notes painting the air. Samantha drew breath from her diaphragm, the melody pouring from her lips like liquid moonlight. Odette's sorrow, her longing, her despair, all of it flowed through Samantha, the music twining with her very soul. As the final note faded, silence stretched. Then, applause. The small assembled crew erupted in cheers. Bruh! Marcus strode forward, something like awe kindling in his gaze. Samantha, that was exquisite. The role is yours. Pride and trepidation warred within her. The lead. Her dream, finally within grasp, got away. But the curse. Thank you, maestro. She dipped her head, a stray auburn curl escaping her bun. I won't let you down. His hand brushed her shoulder, igniting sparks beneath her skin. I have no doubt. As rehearsals commenced, Samantha lost herself in Odette, in the soaring areas and heartbreaking duets. But an undercurrent of unease soured the thrill. Whispers rustled in the wings. Shadows gathered in the corners of her eyes. And the accidents. A sandbag plummeting inches from her head. Costumes slashed and shredded. Props, misplaced or broken. I'm telling you, it's the curse, hissed Bella, her understudy, eyes wide with fear. Just like what happened to Lisette Delacroix. Samantha frowned. Delacroix. As in? The director's sister. She originated the role of Odette 20 years ago. Until the final dress rehearsal. Bella shuddered. She fell from the rafters. Broke nearly every bone in her body. Never sang again. Ice skittered down Samantha's spine. Dear God. She sought out Marcus found him hunched over his notes, a coil of tension. Maestro, she murmured. I heard about your sister. I'm so sorry. Anguish rippled across his chiseled features before vanishing behind a mask of composure. It was a long time ago. Samantha perched beside him, the heat of his body searing her through his suit. Is that why you're here? Directing this production? For her, fur. His jaw clenched in part, dying, but also, his gaze trapped hers, stripped her defenses, to catch the one responsible. The accidents, then and now. I don't believe in coincidence, or curses. She snagged his hand, an anchor against the mayhem. Then I'll help you. We'll find the truth, together. As they delved into Lisette's past, Pouring over old news articles and police reports, a bleak picture emerged. Similar incidents. Whispers of jealous rivals and spurned admirers. But no clear answers. All the while, a fragile trust blossomed between them. In stolen glances and fleeting touches. In shared secrets and fears. And in the melding of their voices, passion rising with every duet. Until the night Samantha found the rose in her dressing room. Crimson petals, black ribbon, and a card bearing a familiar crest. Her family's crest. With shaking fingers, she dialed the number she'd avoided for months. Daddy? What do you know about Shadow of the Moon? Samantha. Dot. Wariness bled through the receiver. Leave it alone. That damned show. It's cursed our family enough. She hissed in a breath. Our family? What are you talking about? Your great-aunt Constance. Daddy sighed, 
the weight of secrets unspooling. She pinned that blasted opera, poured her own madness into every note. And now, with you singing her music, I won't let it claim you too. The world tilted, blurred. Claim me, me. Daddy, what? <sighs> the line clicked dead. Samantha slumped back, mind reeling. The opera. Her family. Constance's madness, stitched into every measure. And now, threatening to consume her whole. She needed answers. Needed the truth behind the shadows. Even if it meant facing the darkest stanzas of her family's history. With trembling hands, Samantha rifled through the old trunk in her father's study. Playbills, letters, faded photographs, the detritus of generations past. And there, at the bottom, a leather-bound journal. Constance's diary. Heart in her throat, Samantha cracked a spine. Elegant script danced across the yellowed pages, a window into a tortured soul. Tales of forbidden love, of music that haunted and consumed. And a name, repeated like a fevered prayer. Armand Delacroix. Dot. Samantha's blood ran cold. Delacroix. Dot. Marcus's family name. The connection she'd sensed, the pull of history. It all crashed into sickening focus. She had to know more. The theater archives yielded their secrets grudgingly. But after hours of sifting through dusty files and microfiche, Samantha found it. A grainy photograph, circa 1920, dot, one. A woman, her face a mirror of Samantha's own. And beside her, a man with piercing gray eyes. Eyes she knew all too well. I see you've met my infamous ancestors. Samantha jolted, the picture fluttering from her fingers. Marcus stood in the doorway, gaze fixed on the damning image. Constance Fairfax. Samantha swallowed hard. My great aunt. And your... Great uncle Armand. Die. Marcus pinched the bridge of his nose, a gesture of long-carried strain. The original Odette and her director? Her married director. Samantha swallowed past the tightness in her throat. What happened to them? Pain etched itself into the lines of Marcus's face. Armand was married. A society? Darling, with a thirst for status. She couldn't abide his obsession with Constance. Her music. When she discovered their affair, he closed his eyes, a shudder rippling through him. She arranged for Constance to be committed. Ripped away from Armand, from her life's work. It broke her. Shattered her mind. Tears burnt Samantha's eyes. The cruelty? The injustice. No wonder Constance poured her anguish into the opera. No wonder it seemed to hold a curse. She died in that asylum. Alone. Abandoned. Marcus's voice cracked. Armand never forgave himself. He swore to keep her music alive. To find the perfect Odette to embody her spirit. Samantha laced her fingers through his, a lifeline against the tide of history. And you? Is that why you're here? Searching for Constance's ghost? His gaze found hers, searing, devastating. I thought I was. Until I found you. And then his mouth was on hers, fierce and desperate. Samantha melted into him, into the heat and hardness of his body. Years of longing of denial burst free in a conflagration of need. They moved together in the velvet darkness, hands seeking, mouths tasting. Samantha drowned in sensation, in the slide of skin against skin, the whisper of breath against her throat. She crested once, twice, Marcus's name a broken prayer on her lips. In the aftermath, tangled in sheets and shadows, realization crystallized like frost. It's her. Samantha bolted upright horror dawning. Your aunt? Armand's wife. She's the one behind the accidents. The curse. Marcus stilled, dread and certainty warring in his gaze. Impossible. Aunt Eliza died decades ago to deal. But her vengeance didn't. The pieces slotted into sickening place. She swore to destroy Constance's legacy. Her music. Anyone who tried to bring it to life. 
silence stretched, heavy with the weight of generations. Then, a rustle. A creak of hinges. Clever girl. A figure stepped from the gloom, withered hands clasped, eyes glittering with malice. You always were too smart for your own good. Ice filled Samantha's veins. Aunt Eliza. But how? A chuckle, dry as old parchment. Secrets, my dear. Secrets and lies. They cling like cobwebs. Eliza drifted closer. A specter made flesh. I couldn't let that harlot's caterwauling consume Armand. Corrupt our family. So, I freed him. And damned her. Marcus surged to his feet, rage trembling in every line of his body. You poison them. Your own husband. My sister. All for pride and spite. For honor. Eliza hissed. For the sanctity of blood and name. Her gaze cut to Samantha, sharp as a razor. A sanctity you besmirch with her tainted music. Her madness. Samantha stumbled back, revulsion curdling her stomach. The depth of Eliza's hatred. Her ruthless crusade. All to destroy a dead woman's dream. It ends now, Marcus bit out. Your legacy of lies. It dies with you. Eliza's grin stretched, scalpel thin. She lifted her hand, an antique pistol gleaming in her grasp. Oh, my sweet boy. We all die with our legacies. And yours is to join your precious Constance in oblivion. The boom of the gunshot. Screams from the stage below. And Samantha, lunging. Grappling. Tumbling into the void as darkness swallowed all. When she woke, it was to white walls and antiseptic. To the beep of machines and the whisper of her name. Samantha? Marcus's face swam into focus, haggard but whole. Thank God. I thought, when you fell. She clutched his hand, anchoring herself to the solidity of him. Eliza, death. Is she... Dead. Grim satisfaction threaded his tone. Her web of deceit, of vengeance, it's over. Tears welled, spilled. For Constance. For Lisette. For the beauty twisted by cruelty. The art shadowed by obsession. But in that shadow, a flicker of light. Of hope. The show, Samantha whispered. We have to finish it. For them. For us. Marcus pressed his brow to hers, a vow sealed in silence. In the mingled salt of their tears, the final curtain beckoned. One last act of defiance. Of love. They would sing Constance's song and let the world tremble with its truth. The stage whispered with ghosts. Samantha stood in the wings, the whisper of silk and taffeta against her skin, a sensual caress. Odette's wedding gown, resplendent in the gloom. But beneath the finery, her body thrummed with a deeper resonance. The ache of healing wounds. The echo of Marcus's touch. The weight of the legacy they'd chosen to shoulder. Places, came the murmur, rippling through the assembled cast. Samantha drew a steadying breath, the air shivering with anticipation. This was it. The moment Constance's music had awaited for a century. The reckoning of art and anguish. She stepped into the light. The orchestra swelled, a tide of sound that buoyed her, carried her. Samantha let it flow through her, every note, a mirror of her own heartbeat. Odette's sorrow, her rapture, her defiance, all of it poured from Samantha's throat in a cascade of silver. In the balcony, a figure stirred. Marcus, resplendent in tailored lines, gray eyes fixed on her. Not just a director surveying his ingenue, but a man beholding his equal. His partner in every dance that mattered. Their gazes locked, held. The rest of the world fell away, leaving only the music. Only the truth woven between them, bright as a thread of flame. Samantha sang of love won and lost. Of betrayal and sacrifice. Of the mad impossible beauty that carved scars into the soul. Constance's torment, her triumph. It burst from Samantha in a storm of sound and fury. 
And as the final note crescendoed, as Odette fell in a swoon of lace and despair, the audience erupted. Bravos rang to the rafters, a thunderous wave of acclaim. But Samantha only had eyes for Marcus. He was on his feet, applause forgotten, pride and passion blazing in every line of his body. She ran to him, heedless of the curtain calls, the roar of the crowd. He caught her, crushed her to his chest. His lips found hers, a searing promise. They clung to each other as the cast took their bows, as the orchestra played on. In that moment they weren't director and diva. Addict and obsession. They were simply man and woman. Artist and muse. Twin flames forged in the crucible of Constance's genius. You were magnificent. Marcus breathed against her hair. You set her free. Set us all free. Samantha drew back, palm curved to his cheek. Joy effervesced in her blood, heady and wild. But beneath it, an undercurrent. A whisper of unfinished business. Not yet, she murmured. There's one more ghost to lay to rest. The cemetery lay shrouded in mist, headstones jutting like broken teeth. Samantha knelt at the base of a weathered marble angel, the name etched in moss-softened strokes. Constance Fairfax. Beloved of Armand. Scourge of Eliza. Samantha laid a single rose atop the grave. Crimson petals, black ribbon. An echo of the token that had first sealed her fate. We did it, she whispered to the silence. To the memory of a woman consumed by her art. Your music will never be silenced again. I swear it. A breeze sighed through the boughs, a spectral caress. Somewhere, in the space between heartbeats, Samantha felt an answer. Gratitude. Understanding. Release. She rose, brushing damp earth from her skirt. Marcus waited at the cemetery gates, a sentinel in the gloom. She went to him, slipped her hand into his. Together, they walked into the gathering dawn. The curse was broken. The shadows banished. But, in their wake, a new story waited to be sung. Of creation and catharsis. Of love, lost and found. Samantha smiled up at the lightning sky. For the first time in forever, she couldn't wait to hear the first notes of her future. A future written in Arius and adoration, in madness and music, in the unending dance of artist and muse, now and always. The end.